Morning, fam. This morning I read um, the second half of 2 Corinthians, chapters 7 through 13. And this has been a um, very practical and insightful um, read this morning as uh, as I'm reading this. God just put on my heart a few things that I'm going to share with you this morning. Um, one is that um, um, the idea of repentance and what is it. And I'm going to I'm going to um, read a verse um, for you with you as well, and that is chapter First Corinthians seven. The highlighted verse there, actually, this is verse 10. Godly sorrow produces a repentance with, with, without regret, leading to salvation. But the sorrow of the world brings about death. And so in 1 Corinthians seven ten, there, we get a, an understanding of, of what actual repentance is. And it's that, it's, it's that sorrow um, it's uh, 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 that you've offended God. It's not a sadness because you've been caught in your sin. And so that's what, what leads to um, repentance. Then from there, he goes and talks about uh, generosity and how um, how generosity is actually a, a um a byproduct of what God has given us so that we can be generous and then so that he can get glory. And so I'm going to turn this around. Another, um, this is from chapter 9. So 2 Corinthians 9, verse um, 11. And that says, You were enriched in everything for all generosity, which through us is bringing about thanksgiving to God. And so there we see the source of of what we have. You know, all the all the material things that you have are for the purpose of you being generous, and um, the result of that is to be people thanking God. This reminds me of Matthew five sixteen, where it says that we are to let our good works um, shine in such a way that people see them. And they glorify our Father in heaven. So, um, so our good works and our generosity um, are, are gifts given to us for the purpose of glorifying God and, and letting others know of Him. Um, and so, uh, from there, you know, there's there's one more thing that that Paul points out that I want to bring to you, and that is this. Um, this idea of testing our faith and i've seen this before and 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 it's always struck me that okay he tells us to test yourselves to see if you're in the faith and it's like okay but where's the test so it's it's possible to have assurance of salvation but how do we do that and i just thought i went and reread the context of that again and i think it's within the context of where that verse is so let's and that we find that in um, in Second Corinthians, actually next page thirteen, Second Corinthians thirteen, and the verse there is verse five that you can see. Uh, Test yourselves to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves. And um, the context is the verses above it. You see that it says that um, in verse four. For indeed he, Jesus, was crucified because of weakness, 